Hello from Dean's Blue Hole. This is uh, my fifth day of diving here uh, and my scuba diving journey with Kevin and progress through scuba diving. And uh, Dean's Blue Hole is such a gorgeous place. And I had a great dive today. And I would like to dedicate this video to my friends who I have participated in a fire circle with. Um, if you don't know what a fire circle is, it is an event that can happen where people of a variety of faiths, but very often people who are nature, nature lovers, will form a temporary community in a camp-like setting and for three nights um, create a sacred fire and do a work around that fire to um, turn their lead into gold. And we stay up all night and we dance, we sing, we're still, we pray, uh, we meditate, we trance out. A lot can happen at a fire circle. And I've been to several and they've all been unique and wonderful and beautiful for me. And so what I wanted to talk about is that I have, since coming to Dean's Blue Hole, felt like I am in a fire circle-like environment. So I'm gonna turn my phone so that you can see a little bit more of this place. And as I continue to talk through some of my notes about the transformative quality of this place. So like the fire is transformative, here it is the water. This is a 663 feet hole, one of the deepest seat water holes in the world. And there are free divers who come here often to practice their free diving. There are lines that go down that middle platform to the bottom but uh you know never, rarely would a human ever reach that far one of the world record holders william truebridge he is a free diver and has uh comes here and has a home here and i am working with a dive master here who is using this scuba diving um, process to treat ptsd and he is acquainted with mr truebridge and um, often has acted as a safety um, check for Mr. Truebridge as he dives. I was very fortunate to meet him today because um, I have listened to Mr. Truebridge talk on YouTube about what it's like to free dive and I have a tremendous respect for free divers and I feel that they often seem to have this spiritual quality about them that recognizes the beauty of the uh, water as a womb-like place. I am since been here this has felt like a sacred water ring a wound and those cords feel like umbilical cords to me and i have had so many images of birth and being pregnant as i was twice with my my beautiful children and then hearing from what i will call as the mother mother earth the mother of it all um like we would trance out perhaps at our fire circle events here, in, when you're scuba diving, it happens fairly quickly that you reach a meditative state. You don't go too wild with it, obviously, because you need to keep your wits here in order to maintain safety. But what I do find that in this process of scuba diving, a deep inner voice comes very vivid to the front of my mind. And the aquatic life here is quite gorgeous and beautiful and not threatening. And it's very easy to sort of mimic that life and pick up on the gentle qualities of these beautiful creatures. Um, this is pretty predator free, mostly because there's a reef over there that makes sharks eh, not really want to come over here um, because they don't want to get stuck. And it's warm water, it's clear water for the most part, and all those beautiful uh, smiling fish. So you've got this safety that's kind of created here. And then each day, as I've been scuba diving, you experience the level of exhaustion and emotional processing as I have here. And so that's very similar to Fire Circle, where each night it's got its own you know, experience and processing it by journaling or doing a video like this is so helpful and beneficial to the continued process of healing that we are on as Fire Circlers. Um, as we've gone deeper into the water each day, I have felt suspended between light and dark. And sometimes very much is revealed to me from the mother. She has talked to me in a more profound way than any, probably any other experience that I've had spiritually in my life. And then other times there is nothing to do here but be still and breathe. 
and that is it. You let go of everything. You let go of the next moment, you let go of the past, you let go of your thoughts, identity, and you are just simply still. And that is, as, as you know, is fire circle healing. The messages that I have received here from the mother have been very emotional to me at times. The big one in the beginning was, you're my child. You are my child. I am your mother and you are my daughter and you belong to me. And that has really caused a lot of emotional healing that I needed to have to connect with that higher power um, for me. And she's also said, you have my heart you are a beautiful mother and you have my heart and you and I are one and the same and she has said to me that you're beyond loved what I feel for you surpasses any human words and you are worthy to be here and I'd like to show you the hidden beauties and secrets of this place um, because you're worthy to see it so though they call this place Dean's Blue Hole, I have to think that before Christopher Columbus came and annihilated, unfortunately, the native people here, they probably called it something else. And I think that it would have to have been called something along the lines of mother, because that's who I'm hearing here. And um, I wouldn't trade this experience for the world. And so I recommend to my fire circlers, consider that transformational process. Flip side of a coin, one is fire other side water and then in a, in a place like this um i if you ever get the chance to take it to come here um and experience for yourself what this can mean for you uh, i can't say that my experience could be replicated for someone else but i share my experience as offering um strength and hope and inspiration to know that um you know uh, the earth is capable of providing a measure of healing and um, some places you can have more access to that than others. So thanks for listening, my Fire Circle friends and anybody else who is interested in the concept of, of Fire Circle. And I will um, say, say goodbye and, uh, and I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.